Go ahead. Because I have Big Joan and Little Joan. Big Joan is the super ego who says Little Joan is awful, you know. No, you. <laughs> but so we're getting friendlier together. And, <laughs> and Big Joan protects Little Joan, too. Mm -hmm. Little Joan paints. I see. And Big Joan... Little Joan paints big paintings. Yo, but little Big Joan won't let people destroy Little Joan. Um, Big Joan came here. Big Joan travels. Little Joan stays at home with the dogs. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why did you? Why did Little Joan stop for those two weeks? Because Big Joan was saying, if you're so depressed and do that, then we won't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. But it didn't work. No, mm -hmm. Big Joan doesn't always get in my studio either. We kick her out, send her on vacation. <laughs> when you paint, do you refer to people no. and people in your life? Events? I suppose, but I don't think about them. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think that way. I think I don't, is that all right to say I don't think when I paint? I'm not very intellectual. <laughs> it's not true. What do you do when you paint? I paint. What happens to you? Nothing. My hands get awfully dirty. Gosh, one day with Mario and Madeline, my German Shepherd, we were sitting in front of my studio. The birds were there and they were having a lovely time and everybody and the dogs were too old to attack, I suppose, but anyway, and the weeds were beautiful, and it was all this moment, you know, we exist, and I had a good, and then my foot felt, it felt a little heavy, and there was a viper on it, sound asleep, perfectly happy, you see that I was part of nature, that's what I'm talking about, then I thought I better do something about the viper, and the viper, and looked at Mario, my passion, and out came the thing, so I thought I had to kill it, and I did. I don't know what that has to do with painting, but that's... Mm -hmm. You forget that. Mm -hmm. 